<laughs> you know what that is. That is the newest thing in fishing right now. And the thing that just that I think has changed the sport of bass fishing more than anything else in the last maybe five or six years. It's forward facing sonar, Lawrence's active target. It's, it's absolutely amazing. And if you don't believe me, I can cite one example right now that just slams the door on that argument. Dustin Cannell in the Red Crest on Lake Eufaula this spring. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. He was still on a jerkbait over brush piles. And you think, what? You still on a jerkbait over brush piles? Yes, everybody does that when the water's cold. But the thing about it is, with the active target, it's alive. You're watching what's going on like as it's happening. So when he was catching those fish on that jerkbait over those brush piles, he could see the reaction of the fish behind the bait and know whether he wanted to jerk it faster, jerk it more subtle, you know, whatever he wanted to do to manipulate that bait to make those fish get closer and closer, more aggressive and actually bite the bait. So to be able to see live what those fish are doing are amazing, but check this out. So I've got this, I've used it a bunch before. I'm putting this on my Falcon right now, but check this out. This is the whole, the whole deal. This is the transducer. This is, this is what comes in the kit. Well, that doesn't come in the kit, but the rest of this is what comes in the kit. I'm gonna put it on today. I'm gonna to show you, like kind of go through the install with you. You guys can see it, and then we're gonna take it to the water, and I'm gonna show you how it works. All right, you saw the installation process we just went through in the shop on the Lawrence Active Target. And now we're right out here on the lakes in Palm Bay and we're gonna check this thing out. And one of the things I've noticed, of course I played with it a little bit before we turned the camera on. One of the things I've noticed about this is that I really thought it was just gonna be, you know, like a deep water deal. You know, it's only gonna be 10 feet or more. I can tell you right now we're fishing in four feet of water and I've caught several fish already today strictly because I knew where to cast from the active target. So I want to check, I want you guys to check this out. I'm going to show you exactly what I'm talking about when I say the active target and what I'm looking at. So if you look right now at my Lowrance HDS screen, you don't see a whole lot on there. Yeah, you can see the bottom here, but other than that, you don't see a whole lot on there. You can see the position of my trolling motor. So it's looking the direction that my trolling motor is looking, right? So as I turn the trolling motor, that's what way it's looking. So if you notice, when I turn, see there's nothing on there, so watch. Now when I turn the trolling motor around to right in there, now watch when I get close down here. Now you can see there's a stump right there, a stump right there, a stump right there. This little bit of stuff around it, some grass. So you can really see exactly where the stuff you want to throw at, so move it around just a little bit. You can see right, see right there. See how much that's showing up, and that, and all that's showing up. And now you see the direction of the trolling motor head. So that means that if you aim your cast right like that, right in the direction of the trolling motor head, it looks like open water out there, right? Well, of course it looks like open water out there, but those stumps and that clump of grass is under the water. So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna show you that that's exactly where I'm aiming. And one of the things that I've noticed so far, check this out, this has really helped me. If I grab my halo rod and I kind of lay it along the head of the trolling motor and then I look out through there and I know that's exactly, exactly where I wanna throw. It's all right. Let's make a cast out there and see what happens. Okay, so check this out. There's some bait fish right here, and then see there's one pretty good bass. See how he's moving like that? So my bait ought to be right, ought to be right about in his mouth. Dude, can you believe that? How cool that is? 
I don't think it's a very big one though. Like just watch, like you could see them on the, look right there's another one, there's another one right there. Oh, I just went away. <laughs> oh, it's a decent one, it's a decent one. I got him on the light line, let me get down here. It's actually a decent one. This first two we caught were little, but this one's a little bit better. Oh yeah, oh yeah, ah, dang it. Almost had him. Almost had him. Come here. Come here. Can you get my hand on him? How to lose him? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. I want you to see. I mean, talk about he ate that thing. Dude, he absolutely. I'm going to have to get pliers to get that thing out of him. But I know this. I know this stuff has been available this active target from Lawrence. Like I know, I know it's been around a little while. I'm, I haven't I got my trocar car out of it. <laughs> cool. Let's let him go real quick. I honestly have not fooled around with this as much as I should have, but I mean, it is, <laughs> well, you just saw, you just watched us do it. Like we saw that little rise out there, some bait fish and one or two decent bigger dots beside it fired it right out there and we're sitting there looking at the screen and i'm holding the rod dunk. i was like look that one's moving and i lift up and i'm like yeah he's moving because he's got my bait and he's swimming away from the other ones i mean that kind of that i don't even know what to say that kind of technology is just absolutely amazing and you know what some people might call it cheating it ain't cheating if you can back them up you catch them like that i mean it's just advances in technology and just to be able to see what's going on i will tell you this though one thing that <laughs> one thing i have kind of noticed about it though is that it shows you how bad of a fisherman you can be sometimes too because i've seen a lot of places where i've seen a bunch of fish on a spot and just cannot make them bite but i'll tell you this it's it's definitely helped me though because i can't tell you how many times i've seen a couple fish on a spot and, and, and it makes me make two or three or four more casts when normally I would just throw up there, you know, I know there's a little hump over there, I'll throw over there one cast and nothing. Now I can actually see that there's fish there and throw over there several more times. So, I mean, it's active target from Lawrence, man, forward facing sonar. I'm a fan. <laughs>